Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs. Got some CLSology for you here today because I am right. I have always been right. I will always be right. I'm right right now. <clears throat> Publishing late today because I'm recording late today because I had a lot going on. And I slacked off over the weekend, didn't get shit done. I've got a series coming up on Stating the Obvious where I'm going to, yet again, because they keep begging for it, they're gonna, I'm going to rip women a new asshole because I'm so fucking sick of just the bullshit and the femistatism and everything else. It, it's driving me fucking insane the way women can't take responsibility the way they can't fucking do anything for themselves, the way they just fucking lie constantly in this desperate attempt to keep their own feelings from getting hurt and in their constant need for attention and validation. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. What we're going to talk about today is white trash on food stamps. Now, I did an anarchy moment a while back, and as I was firing this up to record this, I made an executive decision because... See, I'm not a femistatist. I don't need to sit around and wait for men to do things differently before I can be equal or what the fuck ever it is I want to do. I make my own fucking decisions and I take my own responsibility, right? For example, today, I'm publishing late. See, that's not because of the patriarchy. It's not because of the glass ceiling. It's not because of rape culture. I'm publishing late today because I didn't have my shit together. It's my motherfucking fault. 100 fucking percent my fault has nothing to do with the fucking patriarchy has nothing to do with misogynist it's me it's all me do you fucking women do you see how i take responsibility for what happens to me instead of blaming it on other people executive decision that i made is tomorrow i am going to republish what was one of my oh fuck hang on a second okay it's nothing getting emails. I'm going to republish what is one of my favorite rants ever, the white trash on food stamps rant about the time when I went to the Safeway and there were these fucking white trash pieces of shit in there paying with food stamps and they almost made the cashier cry because the fucking she couldn't figure out how to make the card work and stuff like this because she was new and yada yada yada. Anyhow, I just fucking lost it. I totally fucking lost it that day. And it's beautiful, because fucking white trash on food stamps. Let me tell you, here's some stories I got. All of this happened in one day. Here's something else I want to mention. Here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins, you know what I fucking hate? I hate it when I go to a goddamn business to give them my money, and they don't have a fucking bicycle rack. Okay, Fort Collins is all about bike. You know, biking here, but for those of you not from Fort Collins, you got to understand, here in Fort Collins... Bicycling is a cultural phenomena here. I mean, this city is truly... It's like when you think about St. Louis. You think about the Arch, right? Because the Arch is part of St. Louis. You think about... Well, when I think about New York City, I think about a giant pile of shit. But if you think about New York, you think about... 9-11 or you think about the Empire State Building or Ellis Island I don't, don't know like I said I don't think about New York right those are iconic elements of those so you think about California Los Angeles you think about Hollywood you think about the Hollywood side wait is Hollywood near Los Angeles the fuck is California who gives a shit when you think about Texas you think about steers and queers the only thing I know from Texas is steers and queers and I don't see no horns on you you know how many times I fucking heard that that's interesting you know now I think about it now that it's become politically incorrect to dislike homosexuals and politically correct to kiss homosexual ass because I used to hear that all the time being from Texas I mean, like, on a regular basis. Here in Colorado, I'm from Texas. Oh, well, all I ever come from Texas is steers and queers, and I don't see no horns on your head. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how things change? I haven't heard that in so long. Because, you know, now that we have a homosexual president, you can't make fun of homosexuals anymore, even if they are from Texas, I guess. Gosh. Anyway, the fuck was my point? Oh, 
My point was that, fuck, not you guys, it was something else. I had a hat on. It's like I'm sitting in the house. Why am I wearing a fucking hat? This is what I love about podcasting. This is more information than you need to know, but I'm sitting here right now totally fucking naked, except for I was wearing a fucking hat. So I just took that off. Now I am completely fucking naked. <sighs> There's a picture for ya. And anyway, icons of locations. Here in Fort Collins, it fucking revolves around the bicycle. It's bicycle this, bicycle that, bicycle something else. The Tour de Fat, for those of you who know what that is, originated with New Belgium Brewing, Brew, New De New Belgium Brewery right here in Fort Collins. This place fucking loves bicycles. You know, we're like bicycle-friendly city and all this other shit. And you go to a fucking business to give them your money, and they don't have a fucking bike rack. That shit really pisses me off. Okay. We're six minutes into the podcast. I can start talking about the actual topic any moment now. <clears throat> <coughs> White trash on food stamps. I go to Safeway and I get in line to check out behind these people. I use the term people loosely. Isn't it interesting? This episode, well, unlike the other episodes of Anarchy Moment, this episode is going to be so offensive. Isn't it amazing how white trash families all look exactly alike? So there's the tall, lanky white guy. He's blonde. He's wearing a fucking hoodie in the store. He's got the fucking hood pulled up. And he's got that... That just... You know, you know, well, you know what I mean? Like, when you see all tall, lanky, white boy, white trash guys, you know how they all have that same beard? It's not the long, but it's it's cropped in kind of close. I don't know anything about facial. I think facial hair on men is disgusting. I know Ben Stone disagrees with me on that. That's fine. Ben Stone's awesome and cool. We can disagree about some stuff. I think facial hair on men, it's like, why do you want your mouth to look like a woman's vagina? Why do you have fucking hair on your face? Get a fucking razor. That's nasty. So he's got that same like scraggly, shaggy looking beard that all white trash, tall, lanky guys have. He's blonde and he's wearing his hoodie. His wife is there. You've seen this woman a million times. She's usually at Walmart. She's fat. I don't mean chunky, I don't mean chubby, I don't mean curvy. This is, I mean, I'm bad at guessing people's weight. There's no way in hell this woman weighed less than 250 pounds. No fucking way in hell. There's no fucking way in hell. She had to have been 250 pounds. Wearing a tank top, of course, like they always do. Fucking giant. And their daughter was there. Looks like she's like 14 years old. Easily 150 pounds. Easily. And <sighs> huffing and puffing because he, just the exertion of standing up was ma was making her you know physically ill. She was about to fucking hyperventilate because she was having to stand up and move her body because she's so fucking fat. So the white trash on food stamps. I'm looking at what they've got in front of me and there's like some Tabasco sauce or something like that. And then, I'm not fucking making this up. Not fucking making this up. There's six rolls of Mentos, two bags of Cheetos, and about ten Starbucks energy drinks. That's their fucking diet. That's the white trash on food stamps diet. Mentos, Starbucks energy drinks, and Cheetos. I'm like, wow, I can't figure out why your women are so fucking fat. 
I'm baffled by that. Absolutely fucking baffled. Well, and what the fuck is it with energy drinks? Why don't you people eat some fucking healthy food? I know what you're going to say. Well, you drink coffee. Coffee. Well, yeah, but coffee is, is, is coffee. It's not like this chemically concocted energy drink to give you energy. It's like, have, fuck, I've talked about, how many times have I talked about this? If you people would eat some fucking decent food and get some exercise, you wouldn't need energy drinks. Okay, I can understand working in the theater and event and concert business, but by the way, I might. This is a big might, so I'm going to drop any names. I might be assisting with the lighting design for one of the most amazing musicians ever. He's actually a singer. This guy is so big that he, this guy is so big, he doesn't even fucking tour anymore. He only does one offs. I, I, like I said, I'm not going to say who it is right now because this may not happen. But this motherfucker is huge. This guy is on the level with Sting, Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson. I mean, this guy is fucking huge. And I may be not just helping with the lighting design, I may even be the assistant lighting designer for a concert he's got coming up. Holy shit. So look, if you work in a gig like that, if you do shit like I do, theater and event gigs, where sometimes you have to work 24 fucking hours without sleep, energy drink, yeah, sure, of course. When you're just fucking white trash on food stamps, why do you need energy drinks? What the fuck are you? What what the fuck can you possibly be doing that you need an energy drink to wake up, to stay awake, to function? I mean, just get some fucking exercise and eat some goddamn food. Get some fucking beef. Get some motherfucking fruit. Get some goddamn vegetables. They're called fucking vegetables. There's no fuck. You got fucking Mentos energy drinks and motherfucking Cheetos. Get some fucking vegetables, you dumb fucking fat white trash motherfuckers. Fuck. Okay. So, they got their Mentos, their Cheetos, and their motherfucking Starbucks energy drinks. They ring the shit up. And it comes to 60 something dollars. The guy pulls out his fucking food stamp card and he's running it through the thing and he says to the cashier, I don't know how much money is on my card. I'm like, oh, so that was the first, it's like, oh shit. When I heard that, because I'm right behind these people, when I heard that, the fucking alarms went off in my head. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Which reminds me, I'm watching Lost in Space, the original series, not the remake movie. And I have got to do a podcast talking about Lost in Space and how it compares to statism and anarcho-capitalism. Because there's some wonderful stuff in there. If you've, not, if you've never seen the original Lost in Space TV series, yes, there's a lot of really bad moments in there. I mean, yes, it's, it's, you know, it's not Babylon 5, okay? It's not... Spartacus. There's there's plot holes. There's bad writing. There's a lot of crap in there. There's a lot of crap, but it's got some brilliant stuff too. And as a critique, and well, I'll, I'll talk about this when I do the podcast. But I'm telling you, looking at it from an anarcho-capitalist perspective, and anal, it's oh, there's so much. It's really fucking rich. I would love to see Lost in Space remade as a good television series. Because you could take that, you could put a serious anarcho-capitalist bent on it. And it could be really good. Anyhow. All right, the fuck was I in my story? Yes. So, they ring it up. $60. The guy swipes his card says, I don't know how much money is on my card. Now, I've never been white trash on food stamps. I've never had a food stamp card. But I'm willing to bet that on the fucking food stamp card, on the back of the card... I bet. I'm going to bet. I, I'll put money on it. I will fucking put $100 cash on this bet if any of you out there want to take me up on it. I'm willing to bet 100 fucking fiat dollars that on the back of the fucking food stamp card that I paid for with my tax money, I bet there's a website address and a fucking phone number where you can go on the internet or make a phone call 
with your motherfucking Obama phone. I bet you this white trash has a fucking Obama phone where you can find out what the balance on your fucking food stamp card is. I bet you can fucking find that out. I fucking bet you can. I bet you can find out the fucking balance on your fucking food stamp card. So they swipe the card. There's only 20 something dollars on it. So now they've got $60 worth of Mentos, energy drinks, and Cheetos, but they only have $20 worth of food stamps. So the cashier has to begin unringing things in order to drop the balance down below the balance that's on their fucking food stamp card. I'm sorry, my food stamp card because I paid for that. They didn't fucking pay for it. That's actually my fucking card because I actually produce value and pay taxes. So once the cashier gets the balance under the amount of money they have on the card, the fucking shit won't take for whatever reason, technical glitches. At the Safeway where I shop, they just recently got a new computer system. It's a guy, God, fucking technology. Remember the good old days when people knew how to fucking do math and didn't have to, you did computer, didn't have to do everything? So I went in the other day and I bought a bunch of shit and I had like $60 for the shit and it finishes tallying up and it's like, yeah, your balance is seven bucks. And I'm looking at the cashier and the cashier's looking at me and he's like, I don't think that's right. And I'm like, dude, the computer can't be wrong. I'm going with it. So, and we had to redo my entire fucking grocery cart in order to get the computer to give up the right price. So, the computer won't take the food stamp card now, so guess what? They have to void the whole thing out and ring up all of these people's leftover, you know, the Cheetos and the Mentos and the energy drinks that were left. So now they're doing all this again. It's like, Jesus fucking H Christ. Thank you, white trash on food stamps, and thank you computer technology that just fucks up. Because God forbid people do math and use a goddamn cash register like in the old days where you just push some fucking buttons on a cash register and the drawer opens. Now everything's got to be fucking computer controlled. Because people are too fucking stupid to do math. And the white trash, I mean, fuck! Well, I was going to say, as they're walking to the store, they could add up in their head the total purchase that they're going to have, but then I forgot they didn't know how much money was on the food stamps card. So while all this is happening, the little fat girl, the daughter, vanishes. And the, the scruffy, shaggy, hoodie, white trash daddy looks at the fat woman that he's married to? I don't know what they're doing. Who cares? Fuck. And he says, where's so and whatever the fuck her name is? And the fat woman who had the fat daughter says, oh, she had to go sit down. She wasn't feeling well. Of course, she wasn't feeling well. She's like 150 fucking pounds at minimum. She's like 14 years old. She can barely stand up under her own power. Of course, she had to go fucking sit down. She needs some goddamn Cheetos and an energy drink, and she might be able to make it out to the fucking car. Did I mention that most likely these people vote Democrat? That it's liberal Democrats who keep these people alive and breed them ex exclusively for the purpose of voting Democrat? Just like the Republicans keep the motherfucking Christians alive and breeding them and fucking inbreeding them and you know having priests fuck eight-year-old boys and shit just so these people who vote Republican? White trash on food stamps. Why? There needs to be, at the fucking grocery store, there needs to be one fucking checkout lane exclusively for white trash on food stamps. So that those of us who fucking use... That's another thing. Well, they're trying to run their... I see old people, fucking young people too. It's, I shouldn't just pick on old people. I see people, and I use the term people loosely, at the fucking grocery store trying to use their fucking credit card. Dude, use some fucking cash. What it's it's a fuck twenty dollar bill. God damn it, man! You take cash to the fucking grocery store. Will you fucking please do that? What 
the fuck is wrong with you? I don't want to stand behind you while you try to remember your fucking pin number and you have to run your card two or three fucking times because it doesn't take and then you got to push the button. God, get the fuck out of my way. Just fucking move. Use cash, you fucking stupid motherfuckers. So then, I have to go do an event. It's a wedding. So I'm at the wedding. And at the location where they do the event, there's this person who works there. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Hang on, I need a drink. So we're sitting up to do the wedding. And we have to move some tables and chairs that are in the way. So we move these tables, carry them away. And we take the black chairs that went with them and we're stacking them up. I said, what are we going to do with these black chairs? He says, well, we're going to leave them right here. Well, right here is right there where the bride and the groom and the groom's dudes and the bride's babes are going to be standing, more or less. It's pretty much like right in the fucking way. And he says, yeah, this is where we always put them. And I'm thinking, well, that's really fucking stupid because they're going to be in the way of the wedding party here. It's like, are you a fucking retard? And then I remembered that this place I'm working at is run by the government and the person I'm working with is a volunteer. So not only am I working with idiots in the sense that it's government, but I'm working with an even bigger idiot because this is a person who is working for the government as a volunteer for free. Okay, Government employees, most of the time, 9 out of 10, are fucking stupid. People who volunteer, people who work for free, nine times out of ten are stupid. What we have here, this is a person who's volunteering, working for free for the government. Okay, you can't get much fucking stupider than that. So I'm thinking, this is a really dumb fucking place to put these chairs because they're in the way of the wedding party. But I wasn't going to argue with him because he's a fucking moron. So my plan was just to move the chairs later after he went away to leave me to finish everything up, which is what was going to happen. So I find whatever. So we put the chairs there in the fucking way of the wedding party who paid money to use this venue. But then again, people who work for the government don't really fucking understand the concept of creating value for other people and customer satisfaction, right? Only those of us who create value only those of us who have to make customers and clients happy in exchange for money, we're the only ones who understand creating value. Because we're not white trash on food stamps. We actually fucking earn our way through life by creating value for other people. We don't fucking volunteer to work for the government. So anyhow, I start setting up all the chairs that the guests are going to sit in. And the wedding party arrives way early because they're doing photos early. Okay, that's fine. There's this entire fucking venue. Where do they have to be? Right there where I'm trying to set up the chairs. So there's these little kids running around. I'm sitting up chairs. Little kids running around all over the place. People standing right in my fucking way. Like literally right here where I'm, I'm sitting up rows of chairs. And people are standing right there. And I'm standing there looking at them with chairs in my hand. As they stand right in the fucking spot where I have to put the fucking chair. And at this point, I lost all sympathy for the cocksuckers. And I said, you know what? Those fucking black chairs are going to stay right there where they are because if you dumb fuckers aren't stupid enough or aren't smart enough, you are stupid enough. If you're not smart enough to get the fuck out of my way while I'm sending up the chairs, you can kiss my fucking ass. So I'm trying to set up the chairs. Fucking kids are running all around in the fucking way. Is lucky I didn't smack one of them with a chair, and I mean that accidentally, not on purpose. I, the parents, I would have smacked on purpose with the chair for not parenting their fucking children. It's like, get your children away from the person setting up the chairs so your children don't get hurt. But the parents are like, oh, oh, you this is so pretty. You look like such a princess. And they're taking pictures and watching stupid people with cameras take pictures. It's like, you know, putting people standing there where half of their body is in shade and half of it's in sunlight and the background. Is, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the background of a couple of pictures carrying around chairs. It's fucking, it's like, 
fuck, man, if you don't know how to use a camera, will you please just put the fucking thing down? So, the bad parenting, the kids are running around, the fucking stupid-ass adults are standing in the fucking way. I'm getting pissed off because these people are idiots. Then I remembered I'm getting paid by the hour, unlike the stupid person who's volunteering for free to work for the government. That's hilarious. All right, finally, all these assholes got the fuck out of my way. I was able to finish because they had to go take photos. They love to take photos. All of the, yeah, I love to, all these older women who are all painted up and with their fake spray tans and their but their skin is so dry cuz probably because they drank so much alcohol when they were young cuz they were alcoholics it's just there there were no attractive women at all well there is one she was pretty cute i think she was probably 17 or 18 but all the all the women who had their cute their darling little princess daughters there were all these fucking skanky painted fake spray tan looking caked on makeup dried up skin ah oh, it's fucking nasty so finally got the fuck out of my way done i go we're all done it's set up the wedding's going to happen then i'm going to take it down after the wedding so i go to have a seat i'm sitting down i'm hanging out in there the volunteer guy says, you know, hey, if you want to use a computer, you can use a computer. Because, of course, nobody can fucking... Fu- I mean, what, what am I going to do with a fucking computer? Why do I need a fucking computer? It's like, do, 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 can you not function without a goddamn computer? Well, why are you offering me the use of one of the establishment's computers? And the answer to that is because for most people, when they have free time, free time being defined as not texting or watching television, you know, people spend their free time on a computer. It's like, no, I don't need a computer, but thanks. I got some reading to do because I had a thing I had to read. I had a play that I had to read because somebody wants me to stage manage a play for them. So I told him, I have some reading to do. And he says, oh, are you a student? Yes, because you see, the only time people ever read is if they're students. The idea that somebody might be reading for a reason other than being a student never occurred to this moron. Why? Because he's borderline white trash. Then... The wedding party came to me, this actually happened before the reading incident, and said, are you going to move those black chairs? And I wanted to say, no, because you people are a bunch of fucking assholes and you are in my fucking way of last trying to sit up and you can kiss my ass because whether you're happy or not, I get paid anyhow because this is the government and there, there is no customer satisfaction. It's not like the free market. It's not like when I work in a theater event or when I work a musical gig or when I do website design or when I do photography or any of the stuff I do, it's not like in the free market where I have to actually make my client happy, where I have to actually create value for other people in order to get paid. This is the government. I could pull out my dick right now and piss in your face and I'm still going to get paid because it's the government. But I was nice. I don't know why. I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to not being nice to people anymore. I was nice. I moved the fucking chairs for them. And then, as I'm moving the chairs, they come back and say, you're going to move the other chairs, right? It's like, no, I'm just going to fucking move half of them. I'm going to leave the other half there, okay? Will you fucking give me a minute, you fucking dipshits? So there it is. That's my day. That was a day in the life of the Great One. Being surrounded by people like this. This is why I come to you on this podcast and I say to you, the democracy is not the solution. Democracy is the problem. 